Are you constantly losing the marks in PT speaking? I have recently given Pearson exam and got perfect 19 speaking and I only gave exam for speaking module. I got perfect scores for reading and listening to. There are hundreds of students out there who are facing the issue in the speaking module. You must be getting the scores in listening, writing, reading, but not in speaking. And your score must look like this. There is a solution. We have figured out that students are losing the marks in the speaking section due to one particular task, which is describe image. So let me break it down. Describe image is the most important task for your speaking module as all the components, which is fluency, pronunciation and content contribute marks towards speaking. And if you're losing the marks in this particular task, that means you will be losing the marks in the speaking module. But students are losing the marks in the content. There are a lot of students out there who are speaking less than the required keywords. And that's the main reason why students are losing the marks. Our students have got recently perfect 90 like this, like this and this. That shows that the keywords which we are asking the students to put in in the template is actually the requirement of the PTE and we are fulfilling that requirement. So PTE describe image is the most important task. And if you are losing out in the content, you are going to lose out in this particular task completely. So your job should be to ensure that you have enough keywords. But there are a lot of students out there who are not very sure about the template also. And that's the reason they are not able to get the perfect scores in speaking module. We have a template for you guys, which is the universal template, which will work in every single image. Your job is to go through this template. I'm going to explain the template very quickly. But before that, I again want to emphasize the importance of this task towards the speaking module. A lot of students take it for granted. You sometimes just, you know, ignore this task completely. And that's the reason nowadays, especially students are losing marks in the speaking module. So first of all, let's look at the template. This is the actual template which we give to our vision students, to our VLE students. And they're using this in the exam and they're getting perfect 90 in the speaking module and perfect scores are being given to the other modules also using the other templates in speaking. Now, describe image template is the easiest from our template list. So your job should be just to go through this list, go through the template and do it perfectly in your exam. So let me show you the template very quickly. All right. So you can see the website address on your screen. You can log in and sign up over there for free and you can make your account for free and practice over here for free. Now, what you have to do is, first of all, when once you log in, you can see this dashboard. You have to quickly go to the templates tab over here on the left hand side. Once you click over there, you will see all the templates over here. If you are a VIP member, you will be able to access them. But anyways, for today's video, I'm going to give you free access to this. So once you click on the speaking template, you will be taken to the PDF over here where you will get the template. Now, this is the describe image template. Now, this is the template which we'll be using. Now, template is very easy to use. You can see over here, we have four sentence starting from, from the image I can see topic phrase. In this particular sentence, topic phrase would be something which will pick out from the image. Let's say if you have an image over here, which you can see on the screen is of the penguin. So you can pick the word as a penguin and put it over there as a topic phrase. If there is a topic given, you can pick three, four words from there and insert it in the very first sentence. That would be easy. Then from second sentence onwards, you have to repeat the sentence. I can see keyword, keyword and keyword. Five times you have to do that. In this particular section, keywords will come from the image itself. Now make sure that keywords are only one word. Do not use two words. Okay, so one, two, and three, but they should go continuously. We will discuss more about continuously shortly, but let's look into the other sentences now. Then after we have finished speaking all the keywords, you have to speak these three sentences, which are fixed. I can see blue, black, and red color, highest and lowest numbers, maximum and minimum trends. Now, these ones are very important, right? These will help you, right? 
to get 90 bands in all type of images. It is very important that you understand that these sentences will be very beneficial, especially for those images where you don't have much to speak, where you have very less to speak. So it is important that you always use these three sentences. Now, if you have lot to cover from the image, then you should speak these five sentences and then obviously these three sentences as well. Let's say you have very less to speak. There would be images where there's nothing mentioned. Now, this is kind of a difficult situation for a lot of students. What you can do in that situation is you can speak about three to four sentences with the keywords and then you can speak these three fixed sentences and with the conclusion and you will never get less marks in the content. Okay. So first thing first, you have to pick up the topic phrase in 25 seconds, analyze the image quickly. Okay. So let's say if this is the image you're going to get in the exam, let me zoom it in for the penguin one. What will be the topic phrase? I can say penguin. Okay. Then I'm going to quickly analyze all the keywords mentioned on the screen, such as 130, 120, 110, 1 M, maybe it's one meter, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40. And then there are words written over there. I'm not going to pick all the words. I'm only going to pick the words which are easy for me to speak. Chin strap is easy. Emperor is easy. Gento. Adelaide, I'm going to skip. King, Macroni. That's it. On the right hand side, there are again same numbers. So I'm going to skip that part. Let's say if there was an image where there's nothing written, then quickly whatever you can see in the image, write it down. Okay. So that you can easily fit it in the template. Now, these are the keywords which were picked. Now I'm going to use these keywords in a template. So let's start. From the image, I can see penguin. I can see 130, 120, 110. I can see 90, 80, and 70. I can see 40, 30, and 20. I can see chin strap, emperor, and gento. I can see king, macaroni, and 10. Highest and lowest numbers. Maximum and minimum trends. I can see red, blue, and black color to conclude topic. That's it. If you have noticed, I'm not going to stop in between at all. Only after a sentence, I'm taking a slight pause to take a breath. But my sentences overall are very continuous. I'm not saying I can see 10, 20, and 30 in a manner where I'm breaking the words. Don't break the keywords, guys. It's very important that you should speak the sentence as a sentence, not individually one by one. If you put keyword, keyword, and keyword, and you're going to break them up in a sentence and speak individually, you will never get the marks. So you always have to keep this thing in your mind when you're putting the keywords in the sentence, you should always speak it as one single sentence. So I can see 120, 130, um, 140. This is not a recommended way to say. If you have to say the numbers, how would you say? I can see 130, 120, and 100. So it's going to be go in one particular format so that you never lose marks in your fluency. This is very important step for you guys, especially if you want to get full marks in this primage task. And once you get full marks in this task, you're going to get 90 overall as well in the speaking module, as long as you're taking care of other things as well. So this is very important that you always take care of keyword, keyword, and keyword as a single sentence, not separately. Okay. Now this is universal template. You can always use this in all kinds of images. You don't have to worry about changing the template as the images are coming differently. As long as you are speaking the keywords from the image, speaking these three sentences at the bottom, conclusion and introduction in the same manner which I've just shown it to you guys, you will never go wrong in this section. Whenever I go and give the exam myself, I also use this template and I get perfect 90 as you have already seen in the previous result, which we have already shown you recently in a starting of the video. So this is it guys. Template is very easy to follow. Now let me walk you through to the portal where you can practice and get the AI scoring on the spot. Now you should at least get 13 to 14 marks to start with 14 marks is a good mark. So try to get this much 
in vision language experts portal and in the real exam also you're going to get similar marks in your exam as well so let me show you one of the images let me show you how to get the scoring and then we will see how much we get in the ai based vision language experts portal from the image i can see plantation to paper i can see data pining and thinings i can see debarking and drum i can see chipper water and thermomechanical i can see refiner trees and wood i can see paper making and machine highest and lowest numbers i can see blue black and red color maximum and minimum trends to conclude topic as you can see i have got 14 out of 15 i've got 4.8 in content 4.5 in pronunciation 4.7 in fluency i did not use any mic you can get this much mark in your real exam as well make sure that you use all the steps discussed over here and you do not miss out anything which i have just discussed and you're going to get full marks in your real exam as well you can practice vision language experts portal you can ensure that you will get the marks in this portal then automatically you will get the marks in the real exam as well now this is universal template which all of us students are using we are giving this free of cost to you guys so you guys can also score full marks in the speaking module full marks in the sky image docs so let's walk to the next part of the video now in order to get 90 in speaking you need to ensure that you put enough nouns students misses out the nouns and that's the reason they loses out the marks in the content portion you also need to include the words such as trends numbers colors shapes in the images where there is nothing at all you will be getting the images where there is no content and those are the images where you need to ensure that you include these kind of words there would be some images where there are lot of words mentioned on the image and you cannot skip any portion of the content you need to include the words from every single portion of the image and that will ensure that you get perfect scores now this template is going to be a game changer and will help you to get your desired scores in pte your job should be to ensure that before going to give the exam all the pte sprints this is a reminder that you need to go through this template thoroughly before using it in the exam my suggestion would be to use it in different types of images and you can practice it on www.visionlanguageexperts.com.au and you will be getting access to the scoring also and you will be able to understand the mistakes you are making you can also ensure that while using this portal you can practice different types of images which are recently coming and that will help you to be prepared for your pte exam especially for describe image task make sure to practice this in different types of images so that you do not get confused in the exam while using this template and you are well versed with the template if you like this video subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends and click on the bell notification icon so that whenever we post more videos like this one you can get the notification straight away again vishal is signing off from visual language experts it was nice talking to you guys i'll be seeing you in our next video and we will be bringing more important and valuable videos like this one thank you guys